Welcome back. Good morning, everybody. Well, today is all about feeding. This whole show. So, I think that's what makes us special. Um, being a feedlot, be able to show you guys some things today that, uh, specific things. I'll do my best anyways. So, Travis is on vacation, and I've been feeding here, um, at the home place all week. And, uh, figured why not do a video on that. I apologize for the uh, no videos for the last couple of weeks. Had guys on vacation. I myself went on vacation and uh, then I got sick and I'm still recovering from that here a little bit so that's why the voice is a little raspy but anyways uh, hope you guys enjoy today. Uh, see how it goes. Hopefully I don't screw up too much. Okay. The challenge here is for me to be able to do my job and let you guys see what I'm doing. So hopefully you can at least see you can at least see the iPad here, um, which is going to help me build the loads uh, for the rations. So I did the, all of our cattle. They're on separate rations right now. It's uh, four, six, and seven is what we're what we're on. Uh, the rations go from 1 all the way to 10. So with these new calves, uh, they're kind of right in the grower stage. So 4 would be kind of the end of the starter, beginning of grower, and 7 would be kind of in your middle to top end of grower. Um, that's how this is all set up. I already did the 7s. Uh, right now we're going to mix a load of, of 6. These are my different options of feed ingredients that I have. So we have uh, whey, which is uh, whey protein and uh, syrup. There's some other things that are in that. Uh, finisher liquid, which would be a protein, stocks, silage, sugar beet pellets, high moisture corn, and two different types of distillers. So that's what this ration consists of. All right, let's do this. So I got stock selected. Busy around here again today, as usual. You gotta be careful when I back through there that I don't run into somebody. So I already know that I can just dump this whole bucket in. So that dump was right at about a thousand pounds of corn stalks. So I got 1,400 pounds left to go, which should be a bucket in a portion. get a little bit of moisture last night not much but that does change the weight of the stocks and this is all based off of a dry so that gets a little it's, it can skew your pounds a little bit try to be within 100 to 200 pounds um, of each ingredient within zero on here. 
So stocks, I do think a little different. I'm gonna go to wet distillers now because we got a lot of liquids to put in and I don't want the liquids to to seep out of the truck and my phone is ringing normal. I'll have to call him back. We're doing this right now. Grab this bucket load of distillers. This is one you gotta be careful with. It's heavy, comes out fast. It's pretty easy to get a big glob to come at once and put yourself quite a bit over. You can see the scale fluctuates some because that's both screws on the feed truck are, are moving and so it's going to go up and down a little bit that's how it is so we've got that done okay i'm gonna run over here i'll grab you guys here for a second run over to the silage here Grab a small bucket of that for my next dry ingredient that I'm putting in. next process already but since we're taping it's a little harder so grab my remote here I'm gonna go back to the whey protein and as you can see we got to put in about 6,000 pounds that's quite a few gallons so grab my clicker hit the button there she goes it's a lot of liquid as you can see so that's why I put the stocks in first and then a little bit of the distillers so um, the stocks it's very important that the stocks will get coated with with all of this whey and then obviously I don't want it to leak out so we'll sit here for a minute let it do its thing okay we're getting close now and usually I try and shut this off right at about a hundred. It always seems to go down pretty close. We're going to call that good. So you saw us load the silage. Run back over here. Grab silage. Let's put that in. I needed like short of 3,000 pounds and I had a pretty full bucket so I gotta be a little careful with that because I probably can hold five or six in this bucket switch over to the finisher liquid and we have three finisher tanks for that on the button here one 
one come out, two come out, three takes just a little bit longer. There they are. But we only have 700 pounds of that to put in, so this happens pretty quick. We're getting close, one, two, three. Got her. Okay, I'll put you back here. Let's go grab the last couple things. Um, I like to put my corn in next. I said I can do sugar beans, but the way the items here are listed is not exactly the Bible. I'll grab it for this one. Here's the corn pile. Pretty large. I pushed and packed just about every kernel of this up here. Not that much. That is a wall of corn. Sorry, Justin, if you're watching, I'll call you right back. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, it's green. You see the green screen on there, and it turns to yellow turns to red. When it turns to yellow, that's 10%. You're within 10% of where you need to be. That's what the color changes mean. All right, uh, now we'll go to sugar beet pellets. Put my leftover corn back. There's nothing worse than when you grab a bucket and you know you can fit it all in the bucket but you grab short and you got to go back for a couple hundred pounds that is such a waste of time this stuff flows off of the bucket pretty good so you can just kind of trickle it in and sometimes it gets away from you a big whoosh comes out I don't know if that's a technical term a whoosh space to hold everything and this is the last of the pile that we have outside of the concrete part but we gained a lot of room here in the last couple of weeks so we should be able to get that on the concrete again we just don't I don't like putting feet on a dirt spot but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do
we are done here in the loader. That is the loading portion of being here. Meet you back in the feed truck. Right here tells me how fast they're turning. Currently they're at zero. Go back to our iPad, go to delivery. All right, there's the pens that I loaded. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, uh, can't believe I do this. The camera mounted on my head. So you're either gonna get sick and dizzy with all the head turning I do, or it's actually gonna work. And do I look like an incredible dork. It's all right, it's all for you. We do have some guys cleaning out here today, so. <clears throat> all right, so for this load, we're gonna start right here at pen one. You can see, if you can see them, I hope you can. They're ready to eat. What's up, fellas? All right, pen one, drop one. The reason why it's drop one is because there's bunks on both sides of the pens. So the outside here is one, the inside is two. They're hungry. It's a good thing I upped them today. I figured they would be. you can see in the mirror here this is what I'm seeing that's what I'm looking at the whole time I want to see how much feed is coming out and then in this mirror here I'm looking at the gap between my uh, my box and the bumps so I can make sure that I'm the right distance away and I'm not hitting anything as you can see, I already hit that mark at 2,000 pounds. Um, the problem here is... There. Bouncing around just a little bit. So, pen two here is a different ration. So is pen three, four, and five. That'll be our next set of rations. These are the newest of the new cattle that we have, so they're a low man on the totem pole as far as feed is concerned. All right, here we are to pen six. And as you look down the bunk here, see it's clean they even started licking the, the bunk a little bit so that tells me they're a little bit hungrier um, I already increased the amounts that I had been feeding them so because I knew this was gonna happen but had I not if I pulled up to the feed bunk here what I would have done is just see what the call amount was over here on the screen and I would have just added what I thought was appropriate which in this case would have been you know a couple hundred pounds I want to make sure that those bunks are empty and clean I don't really want them wet from them licking them that, that shows that they're a little bit hungrier we need to get them content where they're clean but not too clean. All right, there's one trip. What you will notice is it's a, a fair amount of back and forth, but it's good to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Instead of just piling all in, because we need to make sure that we get as much of this bump covered with feed as we can and an even amount so that way every steer um, has the same amount of food in front of them and that way we know they're all they're all at least getting a chance to eat. 
Alright, get the pulls. waiting for me so this is pen 7 3800 pounds open up my gate Sometimes you gotta pop it in neutral and rev the engine up a little bit more to get those screws to turn a little faster so more comes out. Good. Now pen eight. Drop one. super happy about and I already know what happened uh, this is the hospital pens sick pens that we have here different rations different stage cattle um, 
but what we do periodically is we go through and we sort them out and the ones that are healthy again they go back in we'll just call it gen pop so uh, they go back into their home pens that they're originally from and so we sorted all the good ones off and uh, they didn't get a chance to eat all their feet so what I did I basically just top dressed it and we'll see what tomorrow looks like but might just have to scoop some of that out oh well grab the last two that we have for the day last two loads I hope you guys enjoyed that sometimes I wonder do you like more of the explaining stuff uh, more details or obviously everything needs to be entertaining that goes the top push this kind of stuff either something you really like or or you don't but more than happy to show you guys some of the detail stuff because I think that's what makes farming fun in this gun window drop a comment for those of you watching I know there's a bunch of loyal people out there what would you like to see I'm interested, honestly. What you'd like to see more of, or less of, for that matter. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that again. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I need to find the bathroom. Oh, there it is. See ya.